tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Week's episode, I invited um, I invited an um an initiative. Um, we're going towards the artsy side now. Um, they're called the Lockdown Cinema Club. Now, to know more what they do and what they've been doing, I've invited uh, Maki Galvez and Patricia Sumagi to talk about the Lockdown Cinema Club. So, can I call on Maki and Patricia? Hi, Maki. Hello. Hi, Patricia. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Erica. Hello. We're okay. <laughs> Doing good. Okay. So, um, hey, let's start. What is lockdown cinema club maybe you could give like a brief background on it oh, uh, lockdown cinema club is an online initiative uh, that's geared towards showing uh, films for free uh, um, on different streaming platforms uh, Facebook YouTube Vimeo um, and in turn uh, it's uh, we ask that at the time when when it was active to, for people to donate and uh, give money to help our uh, film workers who are no work no pay um, so we uh, we we operated primarily over Facebook uh, worked with a bunch of volunteers like Pat and myself and other industry uh, professionals so we were comprised of uh, directors, uh, producers, uh, assistant directors, production designers, cinematographers, editors. Um, so we banded together at the beginning of the pandemic to uh, form an initiative to help um, our displaced film workers. Okay, so um, when did it? When did this initiative start? Did it start uh, during ECQ ba, or was it pre-COVID ba? Um, ECQ na. Uh, I think it was already a week after mag-lockdown. Okay. And then, um, originally, yung, yung um, founder namin, si Carl Chavez, he was actually, I think, nag-start na mag-curate ng films, ng short films, okay. and to ask for donations. Pero the first volume was supposedly for, ano na, as in help in general to, to people. Wala pang particular like the film industry workers. But um, I think it started in the comment section of Facebook. The um, assistant director is also with us, the founder si Camila Ragona and then si Alan Bergang, a producer. Din. Um, I think they reached out to Carl. And then na nag, nag, nag start, uh, we started, they started calling us. Ako, Maki, and then si Elsa, Malsi, Seth Suarez, and then Mau Fadul. We actually wanted to say that per department, there is representative for each, ano, each um, particular department. May mag vouch for for the workers, because of course, ako personally, even if I'm a producer, I wouldn't know all the names or who, sino ba yung lahat ng ng mga to. So we really, we really needed people to to actually vouch for for um, yung mga tao din nila, kasama nila, workers na kasama namin. Because we don't work naman all the time with the same projects. Yon. Then then yun na yon. Ang umabot kami ng hanggang volume six. Um, nung una pa, uh, as in we we wanted na we we started actually na thinking fifty people lang yung tutulungan. And then we were overwhelmed because nung nag, we were listing down the names, we got to a point na tikte ten lang tayo, ten per department. Tapos, sure pag I know, ang bilis ng balita eh. Once you help itong number of people na to, I'm sure na, na multi-spread out siya fast. So parang, umabot namin sa point na, sige, let's just get all their names and then let's figure it out. <laughs> Magdasal na lang tayo na may, na may mag-donate. Eventually, in fairness naman, um, I think, sobrang daming bukas palad na uh, who actually reached out. Actually, kahit taga-ibang bansa, Foreigners, it's not really Filipinos alone, yeah. As in, ang daming, ang daming nag, nag donate from other countries. Na saw the films also, the short films. Or do you have mga sample films or um, what have you 
been show what have you been showing during um ECQ? ECQ? Uh yeah, so we have um uh we have volumes nga. So we cash are releasing volumes because as the pandemic as the lockdown kept on extending, people started to offer their films uh in waves. So kino collect ng programming the uh ano namin, committee namin. Um so aside from the volumes, because actually so busy have any pat. I actually haven't seen any of the stuff in Lockdown Cinema Club because we mentioned again full time work, yung donation drive. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think we we showed there some posters of the other live events that we had, like we had a live script reading ng uh, ng um ano yung kaito net pat. Nothing called the Hannah. Yeah, we had a, yeah that thing called yeah. Hannah. So, those were Angelica and yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, JM, and then Sita Net, who's a who's a friend of the in, in the industry as well. She since she's a writer and director, she naman yung nagbasa ng script di- direction, screen directions. Um, so uh, nag-evolve yung uh programming. So it used to just be that, and then the like, slowdown of donations, because by week five, week six, wala nang pumapasok na donations because people were starting to hold on to their money. Um, and then those that gave uh, in could only give so much because they had to work, watch out for themselves as well. So we started holding different events. Um, so yun, yun yung isa, live script reading ng that thing called Tadhana. We, our biggest achievement is actually partnering, partnering with ABS-CBN. Yeah. Um, that took time because uh, we are we're pre- we're relatively young in the industry. Hindi rin kami ganun kakilala ng ABS. But as the initiative gained traction, uh, we were able to partner with them. We actually staged a a very a, a long event called Gabi ng Himala. So, after so, ng Himala, medyo talagang buso. So kami naman, syempre, sabi nga ni Maki, we, we sobrang ang tindi ng para sa full-time work. So, once ang pera pumasok, we don't, syempre, kailangan na namin siyang i- i-disburse. Doon naman ako pumapasok kasi finance team si Maki. Okay. So, I need the disbursements. Yun. Okay, okay. Okay, sige. Besides then, sana Angelica, um, did you have, uh, who are the other actors and actresses na na you were able to partner with um for for zomba dings kasi we did the script reading of um mm. zomba dings ang gumanap sila um paula balesteros <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um christian bables bables yeah as in ano sila uh, bans larena sila sila yung mga parang oh sige ito tayo toka natin kasi we 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 sa dami namin, we actually wanted na, okay, itong team na to, kaya gumawa ng tadhana. And then, itong group na to, kami yung gagawa ng Zomba Dings. And then, the other one, syempre, yung pinakamalaki, which is yung um, Gabi ng Himala. Sin, lahat kami, o oh, sinong free? Let's do this. Yung sa Gabi ng Himala, doon yung pinakamaraming artista talaga. Uh, like Jericho Rosales. Um, even Ding Dong Dantes and Marion Rivera did uh, a verse yeah, si si Ding Dong. Yeah, si Ding Dong actually directed and shot Marian. Yeah. What? Oh, Pero um, it's a initial reenactment, pero it's a very short, powerful um, minutes na na nando na na, na niya. And then si John Lloyd yung pang pang last ano niya. <laughs> So it's still um we can still watch it pa ba? Yung mga live uh, Yeah, the ABS CBN restoration page, a YouTube page should have. Yeah. I don't know if they've I think they've divided it up into clips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should people still should have access. Okay, okay. Kasi I no curious talo ako. I wanna see yun. Kit naman niya no, ding dong sa kanimarian, de ba? 
Yeah. yeah. So in fairness din, magaling kasi si Ding Dong frustrated director yan eh. So he, linabas yeah. niya talaga yung yung desire niya to direct. Yeah. Ang ganda, promise. You better watch it. Kasi okay. You know, the biggest okay. thing that, that we had to decide kasi was when we were gonna start the initiative was ano ba yung aid, what kind of aid were we gonna give? So it ranged from the different options of uh, ano ba, uh, canned food ba? Are we gonna give canned food? Are we gonna give people um, uh, money? Uh, what it do is is the money gonna be is the money gonna be f- um, physically transported to them? Things like that. So when we decided on on digital transactions because we uh, we decided on digital g- digital transactions because we didn't know yet kung mag ease up yung restrictions of travel and things like that so we decided on going purely cashless so we got donations um, online through through our initiatives nga, um, donated to through BPI, BDO, GCash, and other credit card means. Kaya nakakuha din kami ng donations from abroad. Um, and then, as we collected, we added, we as we collected money, and so we were giving, um, so as we collected money, we were adding to a list. So we, we called it our master list of the workers who were asking for aid. Okay. So that's another department ng lockdown. Those in charge of of fielding requests for help, and then which Pat is is part of as well, and then yon. Tas na migay na kami ng pera si Pat. Sila Pat na yon. <laughs> Actually, sobrang thankful kami sa ano um, UP students na nagvolunteer, kasi okay. sila yung sobrang tumulong sa amin to collect. Sure, kung kami kami lang yung magbe-message sobrang kagulo. So, itong mga volunteers na mga students, well, hanggang ngayon, may kausap pa naman namin sila. Masaya pa naman kami magkakausap. Um, sila yung nag, nag, uh, nag-forward ng mga messages sa mga tao. Kasi technically, whenever we get names, kunwari ako as a producer, I talk to other producers. We make a group chat. And then sila yung mag, mag-vouch for these people. And then, ngayon, pag nakuna namin yung names na yun, isa-isahin ng i-message ngayon ng mga bagets yun. They will ask um, um, for Gcash account, um, BPI account, and about how do we reach to you? I mean, how do we give you the money? Tapos, ayun, as in, sobrang daming, ano niyan, sobrang daming kwento na talagang, hindi ko lang maiiyak ka. Huwag ba magtutulungan? It's, it's just us. Sa ngayon, it's just really us. And in fairness, dahil, Nakagaw, nakuha namin yung names itong mga well, we're focusing merely dun sa people who earn 2,000 and below ha um, sila talaga yung focus ng, ng lockdown cinema club na initiative nakagawa ng registry kasi in nakagawa ng registry dahil nakakollect na kami ng nitong names na nasa amin mm-hmm. na people nagulat din kami ang dami kong hindi nakilala hindi ko pa naman nakasama Pero lahat sila parang napagsama-sama namin and then may, may nagawa na kaming registry for these people para kasi freelance na nga kami. Tapos wala, ka wala pa kaming listahan ng kung sino-sino kami, di ba? Ang parang ang lungkot naman na masyado nun. Uh-huh. Ayun, as in, araw-araw yan. Araw-araw kami nagme-message kung kailan namin mapapadala. In fairness naman, ang bilis din naman ng mga tao. Sige po, gagawa kami ng Gcash account. <laughs> so feeling namin kami yung nagpanag... There was a time na yung Gcash sobrang naglalag na sa feeling na lugar namin parang kagagawa namin kasi grabe na yung pag, pag, pag ano namin paggamit namin ng, ng app na yan sana bigyan kami ni Gcash ng ano uh, one year na ano uh, <laughs> hindi ko alam oh, Gcash baka naman able to raise about 4.7 million pesos I think by the yeah, end of maybe the maybe they can do it 4.7 yeah, we have the uh, we 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 raised that final amount, and then kaya nga si Pat nga mentioned nga na sobrang iba ibang classing uh, feelings when people would donate. Kasi si Pat nga was saying that someone donated forty pesos to us before, and then someone there were some uh, 
individuals then within the industry and out who donated half a million, some donated a hundred thousand. But sobrang meaningful kasi nung and then may mga meaning, may mga donations din na may centavos like someone donated like two hundred fifty one oh. pesos and thirty centavos. Wow. Yung theory namin internally is yun lang yung balance na naiwan sa Gcash niya. So in, we feel na donate na lang niya in full. Parang ganun. So um in but in in a span of I think uh nine weeks naka 4.7 m kami something wow. like that congratulations you guys by the way galeng you i'm sure you've helped so much people i i think ah there we go okay yeah. ah, okay. 4.7 yeah no may 0.08 <laughs> gusto ko talaga grabe kayo mag donate ah yung mga nag- next time sige mag donate na ako oo oh, oh, as in uh, meron pa meron pa mga nasasabi din dito sa sabi pa na Pasensya na kayo, ito lang yung... Alam ko may ganung message, Maki, eh, na parang pasensya na kayo, ito lang yung kaya kong i-donate. Yeah. May, 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 pwede ka kasing maglagay ng message, eh. So kami naman, parang, guys, walang problema. Kung hanggang... I mean, it, help is help. No no amount na kailangan na, na ididikta sa inyo kung ano yung dapat yung ibigay. Giving us exactly. kung ano super. na kaya. Oh, exactly. So, I super agree ako doon. Like, um... No, there's no small amount. And there's no right amount. The fact that you uh, made that move, you made that step to donate, de ba? That's um that that's a big help, especially sa industry ninyo, which um as an entity, it seems like there's a, there are plans to evolve it into another uh into another initiative or another body. Uh, but as with things as things are are starting to open up again and things like that um hinahanap pa nung si Carl Chavez kasi is actually one of the founders of lockdown if not the spark of the group so we turn to him actually a lot when when thinking about like where where does lockdown go from here mm. um there's a lot of ideas being thrown around like maybe it's a well, it can be a welfare organization already Yeah. Since we have the database, we have the the operations for it. Um, uh, right now, since we were able to close our donation drives, uh, people within lockdown are taking time for themselves also. Since it's hard times, then for us, so it took it took a lot out of us emotionally. Then getting requests for aid wasn't really easy uh, personally. Then for a lot of us. Um, it's it, it takes a lot out of you then. Eh. So, um, nag slow down and lockdown. We we were we we wanted to close it then and give ourselves a breather. Yeah. But knowing the resilience, then nila Pat, nila Carl, and everybody else, Ilsa, Alim, in in the group, I think this isn't the last. Naman you'll hear from us as a collective. <laughs> Ako as an individual noon, nung mag lockdown, niko naman alam ko nung gagawin ko eh. Paano ako makakatulong? Not until biglang may group. Kasi it makes it easier. Finally, meron akong way. Eh ngayon, I think ang, ang moving forward, we're discussing how we can help yung mga students na hindi makaka-enroll. Uh, paano ba kami makakapag-create content, content paano para sila, para maging useful din sa kanila. Parang doon kami ngayon, ano, to try mag-side. Kasi sayang, kipo kami ng ano eh. Na kami. May director kami, may producer kami, may cinematographer kami, may editor kami, may production designer kami. We're, buo kami as a group, as a, as a production house. So, mm-hmm. so kung, kung sa akin kailangan ng mga ganong klase na, na teaching materials, kung wala talagang like, sa, para sa mga remote areas na walang internet, yun, baka we can, we, we were trying actually to 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 look into it and to study it paano namin siya gagawin Mm-mm. what okay. do you do for a living especially um what you guys were doing pre covid so maybe we could start with Mac. um i'm a full time cinematographer so that's i that means i'm in charge of the lighting and camera work of films and commercials uh mm-hmm. 
So I was actually working on, I guess I can say it now. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I was actually working on Darna. The ah, latest Darna. Okay. Um, before COVID. But that currently is ano nga, uh, on pause because of the pandemic. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've been, that's been my job for quite a while now. For about, since 2006. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about um Patricia? What do you do? Um, um, I'm a film line producer and producer at the same time. I think yung last kong gina, ginawa ko before the pandemic. Actually, may 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 break. Ano na nani? Eh, meron ng meron ng maraming kaso. Yung, hindi pa naman marami pero like nandun na. Ang sinusuot namin is whether the weather is fine, starring Daniel Patilla and Mam Charo Santos and si Ran. <laughs> Nicole, yeah. Hindi pa ang galaw ko dito kanina pa ha. Kanina pa. Ding dong da. Oh, kung kailan man ang name drop for the people to ano. <laughs> Create namin yung ano, yung Yolanda sa Tacloban. So, yeah, as in sobra kaming thankful na natapos na namin yung shoot itself. So nasa post na lang kami. Post production kasi kung hindi namin natapos yon, eh ang talents namin ay 1000 people. Tapos lahat sila putikan. Is even oh. yun. so, yeah, so yun yung last naming ginagawa before before the ano na lockdown. Oh, okay. Wait, um are you allowed to talk about that? Kasi no curious ako um bigla eh. Like how did how did that how how was it? How was how did it go? As in yung shoot, mahirap. Oh. <laughs> Grabe kasi 1000 of Okay, hindi ko ma-imagine but yeah. Yun, as a producer, uh um, <laughs> well Mahirap siya dahil, well, we had to recreate it. Sobrang galing lang ng production design team din namin para i, ano, i-recreate yung, yung guho-guho. The destruction itself, everything. Sobrang, kahit kami, nung, kahit yung, yung director namin, si Carlo Manatad, na talagang taga, na-experience yung Yolanda. Dumating siya na, ano na, chaos na. Okay. And sabi niya, ganun na ganun yung itsura. Nakuha nung designer namin yung exact itsura nung stadium, ano yung itsura nung, nung Yolanda mismo. Yeah, so, sobrang siya exciting actually. Sobrang masaya, masaya siya gawin kasi it's one of the very challenging. Given the whole pandemic, you know, it, it changed all our lives it changed i mean this is the new normal we all have to adjust and all that so how did the pandemic change the whole film industry um sa ngayon walang sinemang bukas so we don't know bawas kami ng isang platform so kami as film workers syempre we can only showcase naman our film siyempre sinehan or yun na nga very fortunate na kung kung lumabas siya sa Netflix or I want or kung ano pa mang online platform pero yun nga without the cinemas as well medyo hirap ang mga executive producers to actually finance and mag-invest kasi siyempre mahirap mag-invest kung wala kang sure na return and Siyempre, pag walang mag invest walang mag-shoot, wala rin kaming gagawin. So, medyo nandun kami ngayon. So, as far as I know, may mga assistant directors na ako na alam kong naging kusinero na. Dahil ng shooting. Yung bibenta na ng Bake Mac, mga ganyan. Ay, oo. Oh, okay. Kasi, wala eh. Kailangan mong gawa ng, gumawa ng paraan. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, Patricia, like what... um so what would you do now besides um, that well, fortunately meron naman akong um waddles um, um part owner ako ng, ng isang cake shop na na ang pangalan ay waddles yeah so grabe din yung nagboom siya nitong ECQ i think yung mga tao biglang nagcrave sa sa mga sweets so puro cake oh, no. Mm-hmm. Parang na- napunta ako sa ano eh. <laughs> napunta ako sa civil service <laughs> bigla. <laughs> civil service. While waiting. Ano? Med- from from racket to 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 pro bono civil service work. 
<laughs> okay. Well, oh, you know, speaking of after, um, a lot of us also are preparing na rin, no? As I mentioned a while ago, this may be the new norm. This is the new normal already. Um, face masks is the new fashion trend. I mean, uh, nakita mo. Pati yung mga goggles or face shields, fashion uh, trend talaga eh. I mean, ako personally, parang I wanna buy one kasi it just looks fashion eh. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Yun na yung new, new normal. So, um, especially for the film industry, what do you think are the next steps or what should be the next steps for the film industry given na ito na talaga yung new normal? On the top of your head, baka may mga ideas kayo or thoughts that you would want to share. Ako, it, it, ano, because ako, for, I feel it then now that, that the premium, kasi actually, it's, magsishift lang din yung, yung, yung workers in their mindset. Kasi, um, I don't know if, if you're aware, pero may, may raketero ba, uh, culture kasi ang film, na you work, you try to work every day kasi each day you're not working is, or, or just to make as much money as you can, as fast as you can. Um, Trips na yung health, people who haven't been taking care of themselves. But I think what's gonna change is that people are now more aware of their limits than personal limits. So people, uh, there has been an industry-wide uh, call to end mga 24-hour shoots, an industry-wide call for, and uh, and I mean, and listen to na rin naman by the people that be na that control the productions anyway. So um, I think that's it. I think people should start taking care of themselves more. And and the, the the three months of no work has got has given people time to think about that. Okay. How about you, Pat? May mga ideas ka ba or like thoughts regarding that? Um, well, alis lang naman kami ng ina-attenda ni Maki. <laughs> so, for araw-araw naman kami nakikita ni Pat. Doon lang kami. Parang hindi kami nakita kahapon. Nakita din kami. Kami na yung may nag-uusap. Kasi wala eh. We, actually, lahat ng tao ngayon nagtatry mab- mabuhay sa paraan na ano naman na kung paanong maitatawid ang bawat araw. Medyo sobra talagang affected ng industry natin. I, I mean, as in, ako personally, kinakausip ko yung mga uh, production assistants ko din na parang, let's think of a way at paano ba natin matutulungan yung utilities natin, yung mga iba nating tao. Baka we can think of a business na makakatulong, makakatulong din sila para may income sila. Kasi wala eh. I, I, ako personally, sa, sa amin sa Quantum Films, medyo hindi ka talaga, wala talaga kami plano gumawa ng pelikula na until the end of the year. Kasi delikado eh. May isa lang na magkaroon ng COVID sa set. Medyo ayun. Hindi din talaga kayo. Yeah. Ang ako din eh. Nakakurious ako. Um, besides then the whole um, film industry, you have what else pa ba? Sa, sa, sa theater, that's also another thing. Um, and for sure. Yep. Yun. And talagang basically the art in the, the whole art scene eh. Um, and then mga performers, the, the actual artists, mga photographers, ano eh, kaya, uh, I mean, I've heard of yung mga, just last night actually, uso ngayon with the photographers yung mga FaceTime photo shoots. <laughs> but I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> but, <when laughs> no, but then, you know what, in fairness to artistry talaga, there are some that are really good na hindi mo na imagine. Like, I still... In fairness, there are a few photographers that I follow locally and abroad that have pulled off some really great work. So, parang you were talking about adapting and parang I guess what's what's the parang resilience? Yeah, people. Parang down ano kasi yun eh, yung resilience. Hindi ka nagpapatalo eh, so people are still actually still finding a way. Eh. So, in fairness, I mean, kahit naganito ka uncertain yung ano, parang it's still may may hopefulness then na silver lining. Oh yeah. I agree super agree with your thoughts and I hope you know everything goes well for the both of you 
for, of course, Lockdown Cinema Club. I'm- Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.